Scott, the look of Austin's skyline could see some massive change in the next couple of years. A new museum project in Austin, all the buzz tonight. Austin is the largest city, did you know, in America without its own planetarium? That could change. KXCN has learned that the Austin Planetarium Project has taken a giant leap in creating a major science museum near the State History Museum on North Congress. The proposed public-private partnership would also create a new residential skyscraper. Omar Lewis spoke with the man pushing for these changes and joins us now live near the proposed site. Omar? Good evening, Dave. In a few years, this parking lot here may become the home to the very first planetarium here in Austin. The $95 million project will be a part of a larger plan to create an entire museum district. Melissa Pilgrim came to town today from Houston to visit the Texas Museum of History. I wanted some place to spend my time, and one of the favorite places for me is museums, period. But one place she won't be able to visit while in town is a planetarium, and that's because Austin doesn't have one. And we have nothing, and that makes us the largest city in the United States without a planetarium. But that may soon change. Plans are in the works to build a museum district, adding a planetarium next door to the Bob Bullock History Museum and across the street from the Blanton Museum of Art. Well, the state's vision is to add a museum there, but to have it as a mixed-use development. And our hope is that we indeed will be the catalyst for the state. The 47-story tall building would house restaurants and condos. On the ground level would be the planetarium that would house an observatory as well as the technology center, costing $95 million for the planetarium alone. Planetarium is a building where we recreate the night sky inside during the day, during broad light, daylight. So it's really like a state-of-the-art theater, but now the movie theater is wrapped all around you. Developers are waiting for approval from the state, which could take about a year before they break ground, transforming this parking lot into a way to get a better understanding of the sky above. A somewhere late 2013, we're able to break ground. We are hoping to open doors somewhere 2016, maybe 2017. And planetarium organizers say they need your help, actually. They have a petition online that you can go and sign up to find out more information on exactly how to do that. You can go to our website at KXAN.com. For now, we're live in Central Austin. Omar Lewis, KXAN News.